2015 microphone. Well done, <laughs> All right, so... Hello, we are here with uh, three members from Amon Duel 2. And can you guys tell us your name? Flist. Chris Karrer. They call me John. Very nice. Is this your first time in Portugal? No. I've been two times already in Portugal playing with Amandir. He won. He won. Oh, three times, two times. Ah, right. Where in Portugal did you guys play? Uh, Cascais, near Lisbon, and Porto. 10, 15 years ago. Then Porto again. Yeah. Porto only, I think, 2009. And today. Never in the 70s, though? Obviously. Is there not really a scene like really back? Okay. Maybe we did, but we can't remember. <laughs> yeah. It was a very tough time then. Yeah. Awesome. So, how did exactly did the band come about? I cannot explain it in one sentence. Yeah. Somehow we were fed up with uh, four and uh, three generation families going down. Yeah. And uh, there was just all this <coughs> divorce shit and so on. We wanted to lead a different life, so we got together in a commune. Uh, and music wasn't the uh, first goal now. We wanted to live together. And when the parents uh, realized we're not studying anymore, we're not going to university, they stopped the checks and we had to find uh, something to get a living together, so we started music. And is that how you guys would finance the commune, like pay for it through music? This is very intimate. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you really want to know? I mean, there if, are if you would like various ways of financing the group and the commune till we found a way to live from music. And I understand there was another half of members in Amandul. Well, people that aren't in the band now but used to play, or was there just a rotating so loads of people just... All over the years there were so many people. Uh, actually, we have a plan to list them one day. <laughs> but um, here you've got the nucleus yeah. and uh, the new uh, uh, members. So we are five members of the founding members of Amundu and two new members, uh, not really new, like uh, Uli is playing with us for a couple of years now. Neo dudes. Neo dudes, we call them, you know. Or Neo. What, are you, what are you, instrument are you playing right now? I'm playing the keyboards. And I play electric violin, guitars, and maybe future also again soprano saxophone guitars nice. what were some of the bands around in the early 70s that you guys would play with uh, that you know inspired you and were part of like the scene oh, I mean there was a big competition between the bands because they all couldn't live from this underground sub Subversive, subcultural stuff, you know, nobody financed these people. So there was a kind of a big competition between Ken and Guru and whatever, Ihre Kinder, whatever, uh, Embryo, whatever these bands were in Germany, Faust, etc. On the other hand, later on, uh, some guys like uh, Pixar Barbara from the Neubauten, maybe you know this band, German our guard band he said this band wouldn't exist if, if Amadou wouldn't have existed you know so they if, uh, follow, follow us from our idea to um, dig into this uh, commercial um, system you know by doing completely different things also not oriented by British bands or American and we, we try to get some very German, but not uh, not not uh, polluted by the by the by the past from the Nazi time as well. More even lay, lay more lay back to the twenties, you know, 
where all these filmmakers, Murnau, uh, these people making their films, and a lot of uh, cool artists have been this time, you know, like Brecht and Kurt Weil. This was influences, and uh, Indian music was influence, you know, like the, the old masters, jazz, played some contemporary jazz also. So this was a mixed yeah. thing, and the uh, British still don't understand till now that they are not influenced by the by the Anglo-American uh, music, which was like present like nothing else, you know. And even the first German bands all copied this English uh, uh, rock or beat oh, so beat group, like beat groups. Everybody yeah. progressed in this yeah. middle of the roads uh, yeah. stuff. And they called them also the the. the uh, Listen to from Nando the bands. Lovely pictures, funny yeah. figures. Yeah. Uh, instead of lo Lord, the Lords, right? This music was, was this very was important not, to us, but we not, we didn't want to just join a commercial yeah. street. Or yeah. like it was bands, a very creative time bands. worldwide. Yeah. Uh, you know, in America, the, the Vietnam hassle and, and people getting up against it. Uh, we had the same vibration in Germany, but right. uh, was more slightly a, a different painting, and we tried to do something global else. Global thing, actually. It was a political thing as well, you know. Yeah. We talked before to the other interviewer. It was only about political situation in Germany now, in Portugal, in Europe, in the world. And it's still, of course, you know, it's still there, you know. We cannot say you're not political in, in this yeah. time. Um, how often? In Europe. Huh? There's no hope in Europe. This is what he said. I'm the. I'm not no, this. Um, I have another opinion. We've got all European hearts and yeah. burning hearts, uh, but it should be done by people, human beings, and not by companies or capital fascists or whatever. It should be done by people, and this is. We are at the brink of this now. In those days, there was a global positive vibration so we actually thought we can change the world and it was worldwide so many people there was great hope it changed after a while I mean it was all bought by all the creative people in America they're in Hollywood now doing crazy movies we don't have Hollywood we didn't have Hollywood we had to go onto the unemployment uh, office and it died away in, in large fractions died away so we're happy to stay tonight that we're still there and not die the way. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, are you guys able to get together nowadays to play live, jam, rehearse? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, the community, the German community is still, um, it's not accepting us, you know. We are, you know, for them, we, we are really like... Um, they hate people like us, subcultural, underground. Profit in you know, the they... land doesn't count. Right. Yeah, it is like this, you know. And uh, they're embarrassed, you know, about us. You know? And really? We had to, you know, we were the people who used to seduce their daughters with long hairs and have special rights and living in obscure communities with sex, you know, free sex and stuff. So for them, it's, it's really they, they, it's disgusting for them. <laughs> Like this, is still like so. We cannot live from this in a in a. It's like in a in a in a way back way, you know. It's so it's no way to have to always look forward and uh, get our professionality out of our uh, um, let's say uh, our 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 be addicted or you. It hooked to music, you know, our addiction. We follow just, you know, that we like music so much and art and all this together. So the other things don't don't count so much, also, you know. Yeah, um, and there's very little leadership in Europe at the moment, so we decided to go back on stage and maybe uh, go for president in a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's my plan of life. 
<laughs> yeah, to become the leader of the universe <laughs> and the holy well, the president of the galaxy. We are embarrassing. We are embarrassed about this pollution, and they are embarrassing us. You know, so this never will get together. You know. Yeah. And nowadays, there's there's a big scene, uh, musical scene in Germany, like. Uh, yeah, they shame, shame. Us. It's just different. Us, you know? They are ashamed about us, you know. Ashamed about yes. Japan. Yeah, I mean, this all this kind of... This it's, all, it's all going very commercial, actually. <laughs> yeah. I mean, commercial is surviving, yeah, yeah. and the actually creative part of, of music is dying away. Yeah. It's, it's a big dilemma, and uh, I mean, we really work on going against this, uh, not following this uh, thing. It's, it's, uh, all the music scene is industrialized. And uh, usually when something is industrialized, uh, it, it's going wrong. Uh, you only have one kind of something, or many kinds, which are the same with different labels. But it's all not the variety of creativity that you need. Yeah. And uh, that's why I, for instance, use in one of my songs, I use this line, you're not civilized, you're just industrialized. <laughs> yeah. Um. There is definitely an uh, underground, though, in Europe, uh, music like with bands that are uh, influenced by bands like you guys. Underground is boring, so yeah, What's overground the is, is yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely yeah. That's why it's on the underground, but it's not a you know big like all the pop music now, and especially America, it's just terrible. Uh, yeah. Uh, the pop artists and a lot of the, you know, yeah. bands that are known around the world, they're all... Well, you've got a, quite some really good prog scene in America as well. Yeah. We've got many contacts to America, prog contacts. Yeah. In fact, we tried, we, we've got something running like three years now. There's people in Chicago, they want us to come over there, but they're still saving money to okay. do it. Yeah, was That was going to be my next question. Uh, did you did you guys ever play it in the states ever? No. 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 Only by record. By record. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, you just mentioned uh, Chicago, um, possibly. There's a, few, there's a few possibilities, And, I mean, since this year, since 15, we started playing. Like we played live since uh, the new century. Uh, new millennia we, we played together again but we only did a uh, couple of gigs per year uh, just to be there and to say hey we are still there and this summer we're playing considerable more gigs and yeah we, we booked for next year and so, so it's going on now here oh. yeah. there's plans for next year oh yes of course all right Well, let's, let's say the possibilities that this will happen are rising at the moment yeah um Chris was ill for a time and uh, he recovered in the in the last years. Our old bass player um, is not with us anymore. And um, if you give a stroke, you know, so if you give a stroke, so you cannot play anymore. So um, the drama died, you know. Yeah. Drama, so 2006. Yeah. Right. We have a new bass player now who's um, much younger. And uh, Chris uh, re recovered greatly, and uh, we have a really good mood at the moment in, in the band. Yeah, and actually, our last perfect has never been before. <laughs> our last record appeared only in the United States. It didn't appear on the Euro European market. Yes, really. So the chances that we are uh, playing over there are uh, growing yeah. at the moment. I yeah. think. If it's not just one gig in Chicago, we can do it. You know? No, you, <laughs> you guys, you guys can definitely. Uh, Make a tour, yeah, whether there's a kind of a scene here in America. No, there was totally. like Cypress Hill band from LA. They cover covering uh, some small stuff from Cypress Amadou. Hill. Yeah, Cypress the Hill. Rap yeah, yeah. Group? yeah. Group? yeah everybody seen? knows you because you, you are samples to for the last two hits. Oh, because yeah. you are the Cypress most Hill famous rock band in Europe. Group. I didn't know they they <laughs> make rap. I think so. Yeah, they're they like do, a, really. more of like a hip hop. Kind oh, okay. No. They, they but are, I know this band they are before there was drug band, you know, taking drugs, all kind of yeah. psychedelic drugs, you know. So. And I think so they know Cypress Hill even before rap right existed. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's complete other style, you know, different yeah. style. No, yeah. Maybe, maybe they invented rap. 
they are they are the grandfathers of of, of rap and hip hop and stuff. I mean, in a way. Anyway, the Especially this sword this by uh, uh, Disneyland. Now. <laughs> All the money, everything <laughs> went to Disneyland. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Sing now, do it up for me. For big move. But God, this is good. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, so no, 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 And yeah. He's a nice guy, actually. Kid Rock, yeah. I, uh, I've never met him. John doesn't like him. Yeah. I like his top hat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys play with Kid Rock at a festival or something? Or no. just met him? Uh... No, I, I met him for uh, completely other reasons. My oh, best okay. friend is a pilot and he flew the tour with him. Oh. So. Uh, I know for a fact if you guys ever make it out to the west coast or the east coast uh, it would be good would like to. or like a festival such as like uh, we have Austin Psych Fest which is like a more uh, festival catered to uh, Maybe you could help hard us. rock because you have a position too yeah yeah um, we know each other you know yeah um, communication why not Yeah, of course. Uh, I, my John band is, tours all, around Europe so and the States. He's the, the promoter, the manager, the producer. Producer at the moment, you know. Do you guys so have a like a booking agent, or do you book these shows yourselves? We do it ourselves at the moment. It's uh, yeah. convenient, and we were in the business for such a long time that yeah. it can be done easily. Yeah, yeah. And we cheat it so often, also. You yeah, know. Actually, John was a professional <laughs> manager for for years for other bands. Yeah, for other yes. bands. Oh, okay. And successful. Had to survive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody had to survive. Yeah. Do something. So now we can use this experience. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Nice. Yeah, well, Not it's a commune thing, you know. Everybody in the commune, you don't have uh, these sections or bosses or something like that. Yeah. Everybody puts in what he is got and what he can. And this is what happens here. And this is what we work on mainly. It happens on the musical media thing. But nowadays, you know, all these record companies have gone down. They're not selling enough records anymore, not enough CDs anymore. So it's the time for people like us. Yeah. We can do it. We've got enough expertise to do it ourselves in the in the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, we find a niche. You call it niche? Yeah. Uh, which Corner. makes it worthwhile for us again. You know? We don't have to sell 50 millions. We only have to sell 5 millions. <laughs> <laughs> And nowadays... Yeah, it's very hard for bands uh, to do that unless you're, you know, anyway something unless you have like a hit or something. And it's then anyway something that frightens us. Usually every generation had their own music, like Charleston or whatever, Dixie, jazz. It went through the uh, decades. Since about almost four generations, it's the same bleeding music. And the kids are not inventing something new, so we are a bit worried. That's and that's one of the reasons true. why we are on stage again. Yeah. John, but that's not completely true because te never techno was it invented, this yeah, dance music, music. Advent was invented. Yeah. And there well, that's, that's the same uh, my father uh, <laughs> said about rock music. Yeah. Yeah. Music <laughs> sound. There are bands doing, you know, kind of doing new stuff. Uh, that exists, but it's. Uh, yeah. Have a nice nap. I'm so sorry. You guys are almost going on stage, so maybe one more question. Okay. Because uh, the guys there. Are already ah, I'm sorry. Sorry, it's oh, we, are. we should five, we should turn leave. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, any last words? No, I mean, we are, I'm glad that we can communicate in, yeah. in now, in, in today's time, the internet, whatever, you know. I'm on Facebook. I can't use it. I can't, no, I don't, know, don't know how to use it, but somebody else, for me, does it. Old school, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally, music is always there. Yeah. It's going, there are wars, there are people, politicians, and they die and they come and go, and companies. Music is always there. Does yes. want to and it will, people? even if it has Does some. Does want to encourage people like you and you, you know, as musicians, to keep on doing yeah. it? And it's got a natural healing power. Yeah. And it saves lives. Let's <laughs> go, we got to rock them. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much.